Hi, I'm Howard, founder of How to Drive, and today we're going to talk about use of mirrors. Okay, so let's get started. First, we'll set up the mirrors. So we'll start with the center mirror, and we just want to adjust that so we frame the back window. Then we do the door mirrors just by moving the control on the door. And what we want to see in the door mirrors is you want to see a little bit of the side of the car, about a thumb's width and half road, half sky. When adjusting your mirrors, remain in your normal driving position and avoid leaning forwards, as this will give you the best view when you're driving. Your mirrors have two types of glass. Your centre mirror has flat glass, and this will give you a true image of what's behind. And your door mirrors have convex glass, and this will make things look further away than they really are. So when we check mirrors, we always use them in pairs. So we always start with the centre mirror, so that gives us a true image. And if we're going right, we'll check centre mirror, right mirror. And we're looking for motorbikes in that right mirror. So if we're going left, again we're going to start with the centre mirror, and then check the left door mirror, looking for cyclists that might try and pass on the left side. Here we're going to go around a parked car. So before we go around, we're just checking that centre mirror, right mirror, to see if anything's trying to pass us. Then as we go round, we're going to check centre mirror again, left mirror, just to see what that silver car is doing. So when should we check our mirrors? Well, we check them before hazards, such as traffic lights or junctions. We also want to check them before putting on a signal. Changing speed, whether we're speeding up or slowing down. And also changing direction. So let's look at when to use the mirrors in more detail. So here we're going to be stopping, so we're changing speed and direction, so we're checking those mirrors, centre and left, to pull up. And then we're going to move off, so we're going to check our centre and right mirrors, looking ahead. Then we also do our six point check, just to make sure nothing's coming around the vehicle before moving off. Then as we start moving, we just update our mirrors. So we'll always check our mirrors before all potential hazards. So here the traffic lights are green, so we're going to check our mirrors, see what's behind, so now we can bring our brakes in, knowing what the risk is behind us. Here we're approaching a zebra crossing, so we've checked our mirrors, we're bringing in the brakes, so we know what the risk is to allow the man to cross the road. And of course, before we move off, we're going to check all those mirrors, looking for push bikes or motorbikes coming up the sides. So we're going to check our mirrors before signalling using our MSM routine. So mirrors get checked, see what's behind. If a signal will benefit, we'll pop that on. And it's really important we let people know what we're doing in good time. So remember, it is mirrors before signalling because we want to take information, use information before we give information such as a signal. Avoid signalling before mirrors because we don't want to spook other road users like motorcyclists who may have already started to pass you on the right. We check our mirrors before changing speed, so that will include slowing down and speeding up. So here on the video, we've got a change of speed limit just before the roundabout. So we're going to update all our mirrors, see what's happening behind before applying the brakes. So we're on the roundabout, just about to take our exit into the new road. So once we're in the new road, we're going to be increasing speed, so we're going to update all mirrors before we increase speed and here we're going to change direction as well. We check mirrors before changing direction, so here we've just exited a roundabout in the right hand lane, we want to return to left, so good check of the mirrors, little blind spot check too, before we move over. Here we need to get into the right hand lane, so we're going to check those mirrors, centre right, before we change that lane. And as we come down to the lights, we're updating all those mirrors before we apply the brakes. So now let's move into the city and show you some in-town driving and use of mirrors. So here we're going to be changing lanes, so we're going to check centre mirror, right mirror, looking for those motorbikes. We're applying the brakes, so we've checked mirrors here. And as we come around the corner, we need to change into the left-hand lane, so we're going to check the centre mirror first, left mirror before we move over to check that it's safe. Here we've stopped at a zebra crossing, we're just keeping the, the crossing clear. Before we move we're going to check left mirror, followed by centre mirror, followed right, right mirror, looking for any push bikes or motorbikes passing on either side before moving off safely. 
Now we're anticipating the bus will stop at a bus stop soon, so we're just planning for that. And if we look ahead, we've actually got two buses. So we've got two hazards and a park van on the left. The bus has popped the signal on. So we're thinking maybe where we're going round, so we're going to check centre mirror, right mirror, look for motorbikes overtaking, pass the bus, continue ahead past the van if safe to do so. Once we pass the van, we want to check centre left just to make sure that van's not moved off. Now we're in the city, we've got park vans, we're going to go round, centre mirrors, right mirrors, looking for hazards, then we've got a pedestrian, a, the van driver just to the left there, traffic lights on green, so we check mirrors there. And we're going to check mirrors in case these lights change, and they do. So we're looking for other vehicles to the sides before bringing the brakes in. Okay, I hope you found that useful. That's our guide on checking the mirrors. Please like, subscribe and make comments because we're going to be making more videos like this and we just want to know what you'd like us to cover. Thanks for watching.